Ladies and gentlemen, this video is scheduled for one haul. Introducing to you today, your host for Wrestling With Beauty, the broke beauty guru, the ring queen, Lexa Rose. Okay, so of course, you guys know my love for 4C Candle Company, and uh, they had exclusive candles, and I just had to have them. They were so pretty, they were so gorgeous, and I was so thrilled and excited to see how they smelled, and of course my husband always humors me my... 4C Candle Company purchases because uh, it's an amazing company run by an amazing family and I just love them so 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 much so um, let's get started with opening this I'm just gonna grab a knife and we can you know see which candles I purchased again these were exclusives for um, 4C's Candle Group and I I just, I love them so much, and she actually did a, a, put up a Facebook post saying that if you you want to buy them, they're not available on the site, um, to inbox her. So, of course, I let her know to hold two to the side for me because, you know, that's my homie, and she be looking out for me. So, of course, naturally, once I had the money, I hit her up immediately and said, uh, send me your PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, whatever's. So that I can bring these babies home. So, of course, you know, true to their word. And, you know, of course, the shipping and everything like that, which I took care of. Um, she delivered. Immediately after I gave her the money, she was like, listen, as soon as I get home, these, these are getting sent down. So, of course, two days later, they're here. So, let's take a look. Um, I think she's gotten a little bit smarter after my last video when uh, one of the candles broke. Um, the post office isn't exactly what you call responsible. So um, she kind of noted it and now she's starting to bubble wrap them, which is great because now I know my candles ain't going to break. Even though we have like tons of empty containers that we could use to kind of transplant them like I did with the one tail candle. Um, but still... Um, what I usually do is with the rest of the wax, I'll melt it down. Um, I got to get one of those wax melters um, so that I can actually use the wax melt. So um, this is the first one. It's called Aqua Tafana. And of course, it's this gorgeous like aqua blue color. And it's so pretty. It almost kind of looks like a lighter. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God. He needs some milk. Ay, mi madre santísima. This one smells so... Mmm. 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 It almost kind of smells like a mix of powder puff. And... Rat Prince. Oh my God. This smells amazing. But uh, of course, this is one of only one of the two candles that I got, and they're again they're exclusives. This isn't something that you can get on her website. When she put on her personal page that she was selling these on the side, I told her to hold two for me, and so much love to the whole 4C candle family, uh, to Noodle the Skelly crew, 4C and her husband. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much, and of course. What is 4C without her little love notes to me? Um, this one says, love you 3,000. <sighs> I cried. I'm not even going to lie because we're both nerds. We love the exact same things. So naturally when she came out with Brett Prince, Gunslinger, Force Moon... Uh, space cowboy one tail like I had to get them I, I had to um, not just to show support and love for um, my friends company and for smaller businesses but because they're you know 
inspired by stuff that I like. Anime, Star Wars, uh, Westerns, thanks to my husband now, I've been really getting into Westerns and period movies, uh, which I never would have normally watched until I met my husband. Like, honestly. Uh, he really got me into watching World War II videos, um, World War II documentaries, World War II movies, a lot of uh, period movies from that time, a lot of westerns, a lot of documentaries about the west, a lot of documentaries about pirates. So my husband is, a, he, he loves history. Um, he's very particular with the type of history that he studies and researches. Um, but of course, you know, he studied um, the Civil War. That's also another one of his favorite um parts of history that he likes to study. He definitely likes to study about the Old West. He loves to study about um, World War One, World War II, lots of war movies and stuff. Saving Private Ryan is one of his favorite movies. Um, and he will watch it every time on the day, I believe it was on D-Day that it happened. I'm not too sure, but there's one particular day of the year that he will watch it faithfully. And it's it's so cute to see his commitment to how much he enjoys uh, history and how much of a history buff he is. It just means so much because a lot of people think that because he, he doesn't exactly read or he doesn't come off as a very talkative person that people assume that he's dumb. He's really not. He's one of the most smartest guys that never acts like a... He's not very smug about his knowledge of things um he's very open to discussions he's open to hearing new knowledge and absorbing new knowledge and that's what i love about him because he's always willing to learn about things he's passionate about just like i'm always passionate about learning about makeup and social media and you know proper social media presence and stuff so um i also want to give a quick shout out to 11k followers on tiktok I never thought in my wildest dreams that during this pandemic I would end up just kind of flourishing on TikTok. And I'm starting to flourish here on um, YouTube because a lot of my TikTokers are jumping on my YouTube because they do love my makeup. And I told them, I was like, well, if you want some funny tutorials, check me out. I'm always trying to make people smile and inspire people through uh, laughter. So, um... Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you for 500 uh, subscribers on YouTube. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm not perfect. Um, you know, some of my videos may offend. Some of them might not. And I do apologize. Uh, I don't intend to hurt people with my videos or the things that I say. I try to always inspire people, make people laugh. Um... You know, sometimes I gross people out. I have, like, literally a video that's got over 10K views of just me picking my nose. Now, um, I'm not ashamed of that video. I'm going to just let you know that right now. Because I got paid to do that video. Period. Okay? So, I'm going to continue to get paid to do videos like that. But now they'll be on my only oscillating. Because I don't know if I can even use the actual term here on YouTube. So, um, I am an accountant. And my link tree is in the description, so feel free to check it out and check out some of the weird stuff that um, I do. It's for adults only, 18 plus, not for the kids. But I do have a, a channel for the kids, Obi Mom Kenobi, which is my name on TikTok. Um, but because, you know, I have so many people living in this house, um, it's fine when they make noise while I'm doing these videos because, of course, we're grown adults and stuff like that. But the last thing I need is to read Hop on Pop and all of a sudden it's, you know... Or, or even green eggs and ham. And it's like, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not fuck. And all of a sudden it's like, Watch your profanity. Okay. Okay. So, you know, I will be back doing those soon. Um, I might just start doing them in the summertime because it's really nice out. And outside is pretty perfect. But again, the outside noise. I'm just a little afraid of that for a kid's video. But um, speaking of nerdiness and speaking of comics, um... There was a bunch of comics that I collected back when I was a little bit younger uh, from a company called Cross Gen Comics. And this is one of their comics. Um, they came out with kind of a, a monthly uh, collection of their comics. 
and it was under the name Edge. Now I'm going to try and take this out. This is it. And of course, this is the cover. Oh, wow. It's in great condition, too. I can't even complain. This thing looks brand spanking new. It feels brand spanking new, too. But this is the cover to it. Uh, let's open it up because I want to show you guys. Um, the, the artwork is stunning. It's very Marvel caliber, DC caliber, you know, artwork. The stories are amazing and original. Um, you've got like stories like Mystic and all, all these stories, because they're all cross-gen comics, are connected. So you've got stories like Ruse, which is kind of like a steampunk Victorian era um, story. And you've also got Mystic, which is basically um a story of a, a woman <clears throat> uh, who lives on a world that's run on magic let me just read some of these for you ruse um is and, and again these are all like chapters it's not all of them complete but it's basically all like their comics put together in these monthly books um it's cross gen's compendium uh compendia series um, it says, uh, is a new way to read comics, bringing you no less than five ongoing stories every month in an array of genres from Victorian mystery to outer space action from magical adventure to medieval fantasy. Edge is a journey through the very best com uh, through the very best comics have to offer. And again, um, they're all connected, uh, because they're all based on a particular sigil. There's even one about gods called the first. Of course, look at the artwork. Completely stunning. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. I know this book is going to get pulled up because I'm going to read it. Okay? They're all connected by the cross-gen um, emblem. Again... They were one of my favorite comics because they were original stories. They had Marvel quality art and the stories were great. And um, I was thoroughly happy with them. So, um, you know, needless to say, I am going to be uh, collecting more of these. I've been trying to contact Midtown Comics because that's where I originally got these from. And I, they have them on sale for almost 40% off. They're like literally like five, half the price pretty much. And um, I've been trying to contact Midtown Comics because um, I go on their site and it says put on the pull list, put on the wish list, and then it doesn't let me put them in the cart. I want them in the cart. Cart, sweetheart, cart. But um, eventually I'll get through to them. Um, this one I just happened to get from Amazon. They just happened to have one in stock, so of course I had to snatch it up. And I got it for less than what I've actually what I actually paid for it at Midtown Comics. Um, I did pay like about 10, 12 bucks for them. But again, I mean, you're getting like five comics, you know, in one book. So it kind of pays for itself in a way. But I'm definitely happy with my little haul. I love the candles. I love 4C Candle Company. I'm going to put their information down below so that you guys can pick up some candles and they do offer afterpay so definitely take advantage of that afterpay if you don't want to pay full price or you want to get the candles immediately but you don't have the full amount you can at least pay half now or pay a payment first and it also helps on your wallet because then who knows the next payday you get all of a sudden a little extra bonus and then you can pay for the rest um you know all at once if need be but um afterpay really does make it easy on your wallet as well so um definitely check them out um and again don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification you can follow me on social media my link tree my link tree will be in the description i hope to see you guys on tiktok instagram twitter and everywhere else don't forget to leave a comment let me know what kind of products you want me to try let me know what kind of comics i should read or what i should purchase because i love being able to discover new things new comics new products anything and everything so um i will see you on my next video i am your host for wrestling with beauty the ring queen lexa rose saying keep it gucci gucci bitches